Hi, I'm Neil Mellor and I'm going to pick my best 11 that I've played with for the Final Whistle podcast. We're going to start with the goalkeeper. Got a few options here. Scotty Carson was one goalkeeper that I played with. Very good goalkeeper. Obviously went on to play for England. He was with me at Liverpool. Uh, Chrissy Kirkland, good friend of mine. So met him at Liverpool. Had a few former clubs like me. Preston and Wigan. Also Sheffield Wednesday. David James, probably the biggest goalkeeper I've ever played with. He was an absolutely enormous uh, at West Ham. Monster in goal and Jersey Dudek as well. Uh, so it's a toss up between do I go with my heart or my head? My heart would be Kirky, one of my best mates in football, but I'm going to go with my head for the goalkeeper. Sorry, Kirky. Jersey Dudek as my goalkeeper, and the reason being that double save in Istanbul was the best double save I've ever seen in my life. So thank you for that, Jersey. You go in goal. He was also a really good lad. His nickname. Cardi, that was his nickname, that was from Sammy Lee, Jersey Cardi, get it? Yeah, there you go. Okay, right, we're going for right back, a few options there, I can see Marcus Babbel, Henshaw can play right full back, Stevie Finnan can play right full back, Cara can play right full back, um, Anton Ferdinand can play right full back, I was with him at West Ham as well, so the right back I'm going to pick, I don't know if he won the World Cup or not, but he might have done, he's definitely played in the World Cup, he's a great international football player, was Marcus Babbel, this lad, Played um, a few reserve games with him, and I was like, wow, this, this guy is incredible. And when I made my first team debut for Liverpool, which was against Ipswich, he was in the starting lineup, and he was a great influence, real experience, big character. So, Marcus Babbel, right full back. Gonna go left full back, a few options there. We've got Leighton Baines, who we played with at Wigan. What a left peg he had, loved the set piece. But played for Everton, so I'm not sure I can pick him. Um, Stevie Finnick could play left full back. Cara could play left full back. Left full back I'm going to pick is a lad that, if it wasn't for him, Steven Gerrard would not have scored against Olympiacos. And the reason being, I lovely cushioned header for Steven Gerrard, it's a commentary line. Well, John Arnarisa was in my eye line. And if I'd have passed it to John Arnarisa, Stevie G would never have scored that goal. So thankfully I didn't, but he was a cracking left full back. And that goal he scored against Man U, in off the bar, he's going in for that one, okay? Left full back, John Arnarisa, centre halves. Few options there, Daniel Agger, great lad, top professional. Cara, Sam Apia, Henshaw. It's two out of three. I've got to put Cara in because Cara, he just absolutely came me. If he found out I didn't pick him, he'd absolutely came me. So I'm putting Cara in. It's that a St uh, Stefan Henshaw, who I played with at Wigan and Liverpool, a top defender, like a rash, horrible. He'd, he'd tackle his grandma in training if he could, he was absolutely horrible. But I'm going to go for Sam Apia. He was. One of Liverpool's great centre-halves during Rafa Benitez's time. He was captain at the football club when uh, when I was coming through, before Steven Gerrard took over. Always at the front for pre-season with, with the running. Yeah, he was a top professional, big Sammy Ippia. And he scored in the same game as me once. Newcastle at home, Clivert scored, but Ippia scored in the same game. There's my back four, solid. Three in midfield. Oh, I can't believe it. Mickey Carrick is on the list and he played with me at West Ham. But then he went on to play for Man United. No chance is any Man United player getting in that team. Best defensive midfield player played with. He definitely played in the World Cup final, but I don't think he won it. The Kaiser, Didi Herman. What a player he was. Like an adopted scouser as well. Loved the Bevy, loved the Siggy, loved Liverpool as well. He, he top man. Kaiser, Didi Herman. He also changed Istanbul, the Champions League final, when he came on at half time. Changed the game in that one. Another midfield player, could pick a pass absolutely everywhere. Probably had the fittest girlfriend I've ever seen as well, you might want to edit that bit out. Xabi Alonso, wow, he was unreal. He was, uh, do you know what Xabi did when he came to Liverpool from Real Sociedad? He got to understand what the football club was about and what the city was about and he really, really did connect with what Liverpool was about and the fans. So Xabi, brilliant player. Who else is in there? Well, probably the greatest player Liverpool have ever had. I didn't play with Kenny Dalglish, but I did play with Stevie G. Stevie G could play in any of their positions because he was that good. He was absolutely brilliant. And, um, and he looked like me as well, so there you go. We've both got small forehead, so Stevie's in there. On the left-hand side, I'm going to go with a lad who I used to share a car lift with. Um, a bit unfortunate with injuries, but he was an unbelievable player. Signed him from Leeds United. Harry Kuehl, what a left peg he had. Um, but for injuries, I think he'd have achieved a lot more at Liverpool. Top player. Uh, out on the right-hand side, I'm going to go with a lad who scored a goal 
But if goal line technology was around these days, probably wouldn't have counted. Louis Garcia, that semi-final goal against Chelsea, one of the best goals I've seen at Anfield, loved it. Louis Garcia, do you know what? In terms of keeping the ball, he lost it a lot, but he loved the goal and scored some important goals for, for Liverpool. So that, Louis in there, centre forward, a few options for you. I'm going to go with the most natural centre forward that I ever got to play with, and that is Michael Owen. He won the Ballon d'Or, you can see a picture there, scored a lot of goals for Liverpool. When I was in the youth team at Liverpool, I was there at the, the final in, in the Millennium against uh, Arsenal when he scored those two goals. Absolutely unbelievable. So I know it didn't work out after he left Liverpool, but the time he was at Liverpool, he was certainly one of the best centre forwards I've ever seen. So Michael Owen is going to be leading the line for me. As you can see, I'm very biased towards Liverpool players. There was no Man United links in there, apart from Michael Owen, and no Everton links in there, I hope. So last one, manager. I've got... Gerard Houllier, who gave me my debut, God rest his soul, always be grateful to him for that. I played under Sir Trevor Brookin at West Ham, Glenn Rodra at West Ham, Alan Pardew at West Ham. Although Pards brought me on as a sub and took me off as a sub. Unforgivable for any manager to do that. No need for that, Pards. Uh, and then it's a toss-up between Rafa Benitez and Alan Irvine. Rafa was the best coach in terms of how the game moved on tactically. He was absolutely brilliant. But my most enjoyable manager and coach was Alan Irvine at Preston. He came from Everton as an assistant manager. What a brilliant coach he was. Loved working under Alan Irvine. So there we go. I think that team wins the Premier League, the Champions League, the FA Cup and the League Cup. Quadruple team. There you go. And that's my team of my best players that I've ever played with.